Hello, students. Good evening. Good evening, Miss Nati. How are you? <laughs> Fine. It's a pleasure to see you, Evie. It's a pleasure too. Yeah, we were missing you a lot during these days. Yeah, I'm on vacations. <laughs> oh, really? Now you're on vacations. That's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, because last week we didn't see you. Uh, yeah, uh, that's so difficult to me. Um, stay in meeting because um, I'm traveling to Spain and the, the hours are so different. So, hey, I, you were traveling? Yeah. You travel for vacations? No. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's nice. And how is Spain? Is it beautiful? Yeah, so beautiful and so cold. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I never imagined that it was cold. <laughs> hey, but so nice. And when did you come back? Today, today, uh, <laughs> one, oh. one thirty a.m. Oh my goodness! Yeah. <laughs> Estoy destruida. <laughs> I imagine all the jet lag. I mean, jet lag is the worst enemy. Uh, A little, yeah. yeah, when you travel, the jet lag, it's really bad. Yeah. Because, I mean, for sure, I mean, it differs from your sleeping hours. It differs from everything. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah right now in Spain, uh, at 4 a.m. Yeah, 4 a.m. Oh, my goodness. Mm. So you are like all distortioned about the times and everything. But welcome yeah. back. Okay. Evie. Thank you. You're welcome back. You have presents for everybody. A todos les trajo regalitos, no te preocupes. <laughs> <laughs> you have souvenirs from, from, from Evie. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, a flower from Spain. <laughs> Good. Hello, Maximo, how are you? Hey, I cannot listen to you. <laughs> there you go. I'm fine. Oh, great. I'm fine, thank you. And you? I am doing good. How was your weekend? Mm, it's good. It was good. good. It was good. It was good. good. It was good. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Excellent to hear that. Hello, Emperatriz, Carlos Antonio, Rosemary. Welcome. Hello, evening. Hello, hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, how was your weekend? Uh, fine. I'm, I'm fine. It was fine. That's excellent to hear. Well, we are only three days, well, two days away from finishing this module. I feel that it has been very short, right? Lo he sentido sumamente chiquito. Maybe because of the vacation that we had in the middle, but uh, I, I felt that it has been like this, that we have been in a in a very, very short period of time, even when we had been together the whole month, together and separate at the same time. On Friday, we were talking about invitations, right? So we're going to take the best advantage of the class, right? We are going to talk about uh, how to invite people to do things. On Friday, we were inviting uh, the teacher to do different things, and I, I went to to the beach, I went shopping and many things that I did on the weekend, right? I went to eat pupusas, to Oloquilta, I went to the movie theater and many other things. And I have here some examples of activities that you can do when you ask for invitations. For example, here we have in the first column that we have here on the first column, what activities can we see there? What activities can we see here? in the first column here. You say, go hiking. Do you know what is the meaning of go hiking? Like when you go to El Cerro Verde, when you go to El Trifinio, or you go hiking. Are you good at hiking? A quienes le gusta, quienes uh, son buenos en esto. Who is good at hiking? 
No, no one. <laughs> Mr. Maxim, Me teacher. Are, you're good at hiking, I imagine. <laughs> I imagine that you were good at hiking. Uh, let me see, Carlos Antonio, are you good at hiking? Uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not teacher. <laughs> I am not, I am not good at hiking. It's like. <laughs> sí, muy yeah, I, I, am, I am very bad. <laughs> uh, but in the morning when I am late. <laughs> En la, la mañana cuando me agarra la tarde, ahí sí. Excellent on hiking. <laughs> I'm running and everything. Uh, go to a movie, right? This is a, a nice and relaxed activity, right? When you go to, to the movie theater, have lunch, right? This is another common activity that we do with friends. Have dinner. Also take a walk. It is different. Take a walk from go hiking because go hiking it's in a more challenging uh, track or a trail in a more challenging trail because you have to go climbing and doing things like little spider-man things but take a walk is just like yeah when you go to Rubén Darío street right to walk now you can go to walk <laughs> because there are no there are no places there in, in on the center of the city to make a sand castle, like when you go to the beach, for example, go to the park, come to my party, play video games. Who likes to play video games? Who likes to play video games? No, only me. <laughs> the teacher. I like to play video games too. Who else? And the phone. Uh, on the phone, yeah, they count. Even Candy Crush counts. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, no counts. Niveles, yeah. it counts as, as a video game. It is indeed. Go shopping. Who likes to go shopping? Me. <laughs> I, I like to go shopping. I deserve it, you say. <laughs> and you buy it. Play baseball. Who is good at playing baseball? No. No. Play volleyball? Who is good at volleyball? No one. Yeah. Who likes to have picnics? A quien le gustan los picnics? No, no one. <laughs> Who likes to go to the beach? Yeah. I think everybody likes to go to the beach. Or yes. Is, is there a person who doesn't like? To go to the beach. Hay alguno aquí que me diga, ay no, la playa guacala. Ajá. Uh -huh. No. No, I think it, the beach is, I mean, the beach is the beach. <laughs> Come to a farewell party. A farewell party is like, for example, when um, you are going to get married, when you are going to go to another country, when you are going to, um, to have a change in your life, a farewell is despedida, a farewell party, right? Here in El Salvador, we cannot do this one, but we have go skiing, ir a esquiar. Aquí podemos ir a esquiar al volcán de Aizalco eh, con unos cartones. But <laughs> that's the only thing that we can do. <laughs> to hang out, to hang out this weekend. Solo como, yeah. Solo hacer algo este fin de semana. Hang out, salir, pasarla bien, right? Go ice skating. We cannot do this because we don't have ice. Even in Chalatenango, we don't have it. To come to a pizza party. Would you like to have a pizza party, people? Yeah. With different types of pizza that you can try there. Yes. Yum, 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 yum. To go to the lake. Do you like the lake? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes, teacher. What I don't see, but I don't. <laughs> you don't enter. No, yes. <laughs> what I, I don't. don't enter. What I don't like from the lake is the llama. I don't mm -hmm. like it. It's I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> when when it touches your your legs, it's like I don't like it. <laughs> but yeah, I love to see the lake and to go and 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 everything. But to enter in the water only in the beach, but inside. Mm -mm. The beach is the 
el, todavía lo que tiene arena. Right? That's the beach. On the lake, on the river, one and meter. on the beach. Yeah, like one meter, but that's it. Go to the festival. Go to the festival is like, for example, in the parties that we have in the towns, like the local parties, the local festivities. So oh, that, is, yes. that is a festival. That is to San Miguel, or here in San Salvador in August, or in July in Santa Ana, that you can go to these little festivals. Or in Ataco every weekend, that every weekend is a festival mm -hmm. in Ataco. So that is the meaning of this. Now, I need you to create one invitation for one person. I am going to ask for five volunteers to create an invitation for a person in the class. So I am going to be the first one and I am going to invite Mr. Let me see. Mr. Carlos Antonio. I am going to invite you to do something. Mr. Carlos Antonio, are you free on Saturday? Hello? Ah, uh, he's busy. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Mr. Carlos. Tell me, are you free on Saturday? Uh, yes. <laughs> no, no. Ah, on Sunday? A veces. Sometimes, you say. Sometimes. Are you free tomorrow? Uh, yes. Okay. Would you like to have lunch? with me and all your classmates tomorrow morning? Oh, yes, I like. <laughs> very, very good. Maximo is inviting. <laughs> 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 He's going to invite everybody. Thank you, okay. teacher. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Arnoldo, we have a date for tomorrow. We're going to have lunch with all your classmates, okay? Now, I need another volunteer to make an invitation and choose a person in the class. Go, Arnoldo. Invite, um, invite someone to do something. Quiero ver, vamos a ver a quién. Ah, todos sonríen. <laughs> For sure, invitation is invitation. <laughs> Um, Who are you going to you. invite? Are you going to invite Elizabeth? Are you going to invite Nancy, Emperatriz, Rosemary, Mr. Juan, uh, Mr. Uh, Maximo? Emperatriz. Emperatriz. Hi. Hi. Would you like to? Do you like to go? Do you like to go to the beach? <laughs> Mujer empoderada, ya sabe lo que quiere. <laughs> That's no. it. Emperatriz is inviting you, Arnoldo. Would you like to go to the beach? No puede, no. no puede responder, dice. <laughs> ya lo puso contra el espada y la pared. With, with all the class. Yes. It is just an yes. example. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, he's going to go, right? Yes, he's going to go. Now, Carlos, okay. Carlos, invite, eh, Carlos, sorry, Arnoldo, <laughs> invite Evie to do something. Mister. Se quedó estupefacto con la invitación al play. Yeah. <laughs> ok. Aquí Mister. tengo la escopeta ahorita, aquí, mira, aquí ahorita, no me puedo ni mover. Aquí tengo la escopeta. <laughs> We are just creating examples. We are just creating examples. Nothing is real. No, no Las mujeres no entienden de ejemplo. <laughs> yeah. This is just an example. So... Everything is virtual. <laughs> okay, create one example for Evie, please. Okay, um, would you like to go to a movie? Yeah. 
Very good. Yeah, I like it. Very nice. Evie, make an invitation for another person in the class. Okay, Vilma. Hi, Vilma. Hi, Evie. <laughs> Are you available next weekend? Um, yes, I would like. Okay, would you like go shopping with me? Yes, Evie. <laughs> Evie is if going I, to. If I have money. <laughs> no, Evie is inviting you to go shopping. Okay, yeah. it's nice. <laughs> Tengo esos 10 dólares para quemar. Para hacer los pedazos. Let's go to Dollar uh -huh. City. <laughs> With the 10 dollars. Uh -huh. Nice, yeah. nice, very nice. Now, Vilma, please, the last one. Make an invitation okay. for someone in the class. Mm, to um, Juan Cruz. Okay, to Mr. Juan. Mr. Juan, would you like to... Um, to take a walk with me? Ah, would you like to take a walk with Vilma? Oh, yes, I'd like to. When? <laughs> when? Tomorrow at night. What time? Ooh. Tomorrow. <laughs> hey, uh, we have the only the... example. <laughs> you see, tomorrow night. Click, 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 click. Buenas, uh -huh. buenas, Vilma, vámonos. <laughs> to take a walk. That's very nice. Very good example. Thank you very much, Vilma, for your okay. example. Excellent job. So these are the different ways we use in order to create invitations, right? Very nice exercise, the one that we did. I have a couple of questions and now I am going to be asking different people. Let me see. I am going to ask Sonia Araceli. Sonia, are you there? Hello. Sonia, tell me. When do you usually watch TV? When do you usually watch TV? Every what? day. Every day, right? You watch yes. TV every day. Now, I am going to ask Nancy Gutierrez. Nancy Gutierrez, are you there? Okay, teacher. What kinds of programs do you like? Mm. And we can... What kinds of programs do you like? Do you like soap operas, movies, comedies? Uh, I don't know, TV shows, game shows? In comedies. Comedies, very good job. Mr. Maximo, do you like reality shows? The, the microphone. Le gustan los del Maferrer, dice. No, what? No, no, I don't teach. You don't like reality shows, right? No. You don't, you don't like these Master Chef things or, or, or programs? No. No. Good, very good. Mr. Arnoldo, do you like listening to the radio? Yes. Okay. I like it. You like it, very good. Elizabeth Hirón, who is your favorite singer? Um, Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony, very good. Evie. Vicente Fernandez. Hey, Vicente Hi. Fernandez. Evie, <laughs> what do you think of salsa? But not salsa de pupusa, right? <laughs> it's very delicious. What do yeah. you think of the gender, salsa? It's a rim so tropical. And every time I think I hear, I want to dance. That's pretty awesome, right? Very mm, nice. Yeah. Damaris Vega, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is uh, God's Not Dead. God's one, Not two, Dead. The one, two, and three. <laughs> Very good. It's an excellent movie. God is Not Dead. Very nice. Cecilia Rivas. Tell me, what kinds of movies do you dislike? Uh, 
what kinds of movies do you dislike that you don't like? Oi. <clears throat> ¿Qué tipo de películas? Oh. Uh -huh. You don't well, like. Uh, okay. Uh, mm, ¿Cómo se dice? Dramas. <laughs> drama. Drama es uh, drama. Drama. Oh, drama. Dramas. Okay. No, it's like, Dramas. no, oh, I'm crying <laughs> a lot and everything. Good, let's see. And I'm going to ask uh, Rosemary, do you like science fiction movies? No, I don't. No, I don't. Very good job. Thank you. Huh? I was like, huh? On the, on the moment, the questions, right? So we are going to have a little bit of reading. Right. We're going to have a little bit of reading with uh, this timeline. In a timeline, you express different situations that happened in a specific moments of your life, right? So you are going to express different moments and different situations that happened to you in a specific moments of your life. Right now, you are going to talk about Cristina Aguilera. Right? I need you to pay attention to this because this is going to be your final evaluation. Okay? Pongamos la atención a este ejemplo porque esta va a ser su evaluación oral final, que es la que vamos a tener el día miércoles. El día miércoles ustedes van a presentar su timeline de su vida. Okay? Van a escoger años específicos, alrededor de 10, van a escoger 10 años específicos y van a hablar de 10 eventos, al menos, ¿verdad? es el mínimo. 10 eventos que hayan pasado en esos años, ok? Here you are going to check an example about Cristina Aguilera and as you can see you are going to talk in third person. Lo vamos a hablar en tercera persona porque estamos hablando de usted. Ustedes van a hablar acerca de ustedes pero en tercera persona. In this case imagine mm -hmm. that this one is about the teacher. You are going to say 1984, teacher Nati was born on September 15, ok? You are going to talk about you in third person. In this case, Cristina is born on December 18 in New York. 1988, what happened in 1988, people? Cristina first appears on television in Star Search, a television talent show. Very good. Let's see, Mr. Juan Cruz, what happened in 1992? Okay, 1992, Christina is on TV in Disney's when new Mickey Mouse clothes with Birnes, with Birnes Pierce and Justin Bieberlake. Timberlake, Mr. Timberlake. 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 Very Timberlake. good. Mr. Maximo, what happened in 1994? Christina records All I Wanna Do with Keiso Nakanishi. A Japanese pop star. She tours Japan. Very good job. Miss Vilma, what happened in 1998? Christina sings a song for the Disney movie Mulan. Very good job. Let's see. Elizabeth, what happened in 1999? Christina has her first big hit. Uh, Jenny in, in a bottle. Jenny in a bottle. Do you remember Jenny in a bottle, people? Yeah. From yes. Christina yes, Aguilera. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. remember that. <laughs> I, I am from that. I am from that team. Right? Everybody wanted to be Christina Aguilera or Britney or any of these girls. Nancy Maldonado, what happened in 2001? Alone with other singers, Christina records Lady Marmalade for the movie Mowling Roche. Do you remember Lady Marmalade? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> with Pink. With Pink, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember. Imagine 20, 21 years ago. Cecilia yeah. Rivas, what happened in 2002? Okay. Christina performs at the closing ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, Utah. 
Utah. Utah. Utah. And okay. Nancy Maldonado, what happened in 2004? The microphone, there you go. Christina wins the best fame for vocal Grammy. Female for vocal Grammy Award for Beautiful. Beautiful, right? The song that was very, very famous for Christina Aguilera. Okay, my dear students, you have to pay attention on this timeline because this is what you are going to create for your final presentation, okay? This is going to be your final evaluation. On Wednesday, you have to present your timeline, okay? But on the contrary of this, you are going to present your timeline, but I need you to put only the year and the date, okay? Vamos a ponerle nada más solo el año y la fecha que usted quiera conmemorar de ese año, okay? O más o menos el mes. For you not to read. Y así no nos vemos obligados a leer toda la... La, la PowerPoint, sino que usted la va a exponer, right? So you're going to say, for example, in, uh, in my case, right? Imagine that I say 1984, uh, Natalie is born in Santa Ana on September 15th. And I'm going to write 1984, September, right? Because I am going to talk about something on that month. Uh, 19, uh, what? 91. Natalie started studying at the school. And then I'm going to mention maybe my graduation or something special when I got married, when I had my baby, when I got my first job, I can mention that. So you are going to take minimum 10 events in your life. That's the minimum. And the maximum 15, 20, okay? You know, 1980, 1981, 1982, 1983, 1984, 1984, 1984. <laughs> 2020. Ay, no terminado todavía. <laughs> COVID started. <laughs> COVID continues. COVID continues. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. No, right? <laughs> <laughs> Arnoldo dijo su primera palabra Arnoldo caminó Arnoldo fue al kinder Arnoldo empezó a escribir papá y mamá Arnoldo conoció a Máximo <laughs> Avisa. avisa, avisa, avisa. No, because avisa. You, you became friends, pues por eso se conocieron y se hicieron amigos, pues. Ay, siempre en el mal pensamiento. Ok, so prepare. Más vale, prepare. vale prevenir que lamentar. Prepare your timeline, ok. So your presentation is going to have one slide. O sea, y su presentación tiene que tener solo una, una slide donde, donde usted la va poniendo. Si las quiere hacer diferentes, it's okay. No problem, right? But the idea is that you have your timeline ready. I leave on your creativity, how to make it. It's okay. If you cannot make a PowerPoint, you can do it in little papers to present. If you cannot do it like that, you can tell me about it. There is no problem, okay? So uh, if you want to use pictures, Instead of dates, that's perfect. I mean, I leave it open for your creativity. The idea is that you present and uh, use your vocabulary, the things that you have uh, acquired during this time that you have been studying English, right? And for sure, for you to present your timeline. Minimum 10 events, maximum 20, okay? So, uh, take advantage of the events and try to include the most important ones, okay? So those are the, the different activities we're going to do on Wednesday, okay? That is going to be your final exam, your final oral exam, okay? Al, a la diferencia de cualquier otro docente de, de, de los cursos, yo siempre les hago un examen oral al final. <laughs> it is good. For your también pronunciation. Que también que iba. <laughs> Como, it's for your own benefit. It's for your no, own benefit. Nos, nos, nos íbamos no, a despedir no, amigablemente. I, I am going to do it. I am going to do it friendly. <laughs> okay, my dear students. 
I have here a question. Do you know how to call the family members in English? Yeah. Huh? Can you give me examples? Um, examples of uncle, the family members? Uncle. Uh -huh. Uncle. Uh, uncle. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Brother in law. Okay. Brother, Brother father. Mother in law. Mother in law. Grandmother. Good. Or For example. Cousin. Cousin. Cousin, todo, aquí Daughter. todos son cousin, en El Salvador. Daughter. 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 My siblings. Siblings, very good. Siblings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I confuse with uh, tía. Aunt. Aunt. Aunt, say yes. Yeah. Aunt, right? Say aunt. Aunt. Aunt, aunt. aunt and uh, uncle. Uncle is a tío. And uh, ankle, tío. ankle is the part of your foot. Let me... I show it to you. This is your ankle, right? Just give me one moment. I will use my friend, the board, for uh, you to remember that this moment in your life. <laughs> <laughs> this is your ankle, right? This yeah. is your ankle. Oh, yeah. Your ankle. Literally. <laughs> yeah, the ankle. Is the, uh, the part of your foot, right? The part of your foot that it's right here, right? This is your ankle. And your uncle is the person in your family, right? It's the brother of your father or the brother of your mother. That's your uncle. Your uncle. Your okay. uncle, right? The uncle mm -hmm. and the ankle that it's on your foot. Okay, su tobillo. Hi, ankle. No, right. <laughs> Hi, uncle. Right, uncle. Hi, uncle. You yeah, have to remember it's... that. The uncle and the ankle. Here in El okay. Salvador, everybody's cousin, right? It's like, okay, tu primo. Like, ah, hi, yeah, okay. bye, cousin, bye. Everybody uh, has husband. a cousin. Or uncle, <laughs> boyfriend. <laughs> ah, I uncle. said that. Okay. <laughs> Your uncle. Here in El Salvador, it's like, te vimos allá en metro. <gasps> with my cousin, with my cousin. With my cousin. It's like, ¿quién era la muchacha? My, no, it's my cousin, my cousin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we believe. Right? Sí, se abrazan con tu prima. <laughs> it's your cousin, you say. The men in the family. How do you call the men in the family? We have different... Uh, uh, names for this one. You have the great grandfather. It's the father or of your grandfather, right? The great grandfather is the bisabuelo, right? The bisabuelo. You have grandpa. It no no es grapa, okay? It's grandpa. Grapa la que le pone el papel. Grandpa, and this is abuelo, right? Grandfather is the same, right? Grandfather or grandpa is the same. Pa or father, it's the same. Or daddy, right? It is the same thing. Daddy Yankee is another thing. You have pa, father, daddy, right? For your wife, you are the husband, right? The husband. Uncle, right? Uncle, tío. Father-in-law. Father-in-law is <clears throat> el suero. Father-in-law. Si se acuerdan cuando fueron a pedir permiso, vea, por la novia. The father-in-law. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Question me. Is necessary put hyphen? In this case, yes, because that is the structure of the word. You say father-in-law. That is the way it is created. And uh, because you read it all at once, you don't say father-in-law. It's father-in-law. Eso nos hace la unión de la pronunciación. It's like great grandfather. You don't say great grandfather. You say great grandfather. It's one word. And father in law. It's the same. It's one complete pronunciation. Okay. That's the difference when you have these hyphens here. And they are the, the form of the words. And also it helps you with the pronunciation. So. Let me see. Arnoldo, are you a father-in-law already? No. No. <laughs> no yet. 
No, yes. Mr. Yeah. Juan Cruz, yeah. are you a father-in-law? No. No, todavía no es suegro. No, no. Uh, no, no. <laughs> It's like, <clears throat> no. Máximo, are you a father-in-law already? No, teacher. No yet. <sighs> no yet. Ahí van en el proceso. Let's see another boy here. And, hey, I oh, know Luis is working this week. And let me see. Yes, I don't have, I don't have more examples right now. <laughs> Mr. Carlos, where are you? Carlos, are you a father-in-law? Eh, en el futuro. <laughs> <laughs> in the future. I, I, I am not in right now, you say, in the future. Good. So we have here other definitions for the boys in the family. You have brother, nephew. Nephew is sobrino, right? Boy, that's solo un chico, un niño. Baby boy, that it's a, a, a baby, that it's a, a man, right? Twin boys, two boy. kids that Gemelo. are boys, right? Gemelos. Cousin, Gemelo. cousin, which is primo. Brother-in-law, it's cuñado. Boyfriend. For sure, novio. Men boyfriend. in general, boyfriend. And men in general, right? Men in plural. Mom, men. Men. Okay, very good. Mm. All the men. The boyfriend. The ladies in your family. You have your great grandmother. You have your the mother, mother. The mom. Um, mommy. It's mommy. like how the babies call it. Mommy. Cousin. Niece, oh, it's not niece. nice, okay? Nice. It's niece. 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 Daughter, hija, right? Aunt. Uh, yeah. Aunt. You um, say daughter. Um. Daughter. Daughter, aunt. And here we have also girl twins, right? When the two of them are girls. Girl, sister, girlfriend, wife. Wise. Teen, teen is adolescente, right? Teen, a woman, and in plural, women. Women, women, women. right? In plural, woman. you have women. woman, women. But now, in general, right, with the complete picture of the family members, you have all the ones that are presented, right? The ones that I already mentioned, mom, mother, father, dad, Parents is not parents, please. Parents, Chil um, children, son, children, son, daughter, daughter, sister, sister, brother, brother, grandmother, grandmother, grandfather, grandfather, grandfather grandparent, 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 grandson. 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 Granddaughter. Granddaughter. Okay, grandson and granddaughter are nieto y nieta. Okay. Grandchildren, nietos. Grandchildren, Grandchildren nietos. Yeah, nietos in general, right? Aunt, uncle, uncle, niece, niece, niece. nephew, nephew, cousin. Husband, 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 wife, wife, wife. sister-in-law, sister brother-in-law, brother-in-law, mother-in-law, mother-in-law, father-in-law, partner, fiance, fiancé. 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 You say fiance, it's prometida o prometido. My fiance, mi prometido. My fiancé, mi prometida. Oh. Stepfather. Stepfather. Stepfather is padrastro. Right? Oh, Stepmother. Madrastro. Step a stepsister, stepsister, hermanastra, hermanastra. Yes, adult in general, adult. right? Adult. adult, adult. Esta etapa de la que nos queremos bajar ahorita. Adult, 
Godfather. Padrino. Godfather. Como el padrino. El padrino de la película. Godfather. Godmother. 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 Madrina, right? Godson. I have. Godson. Godson. And goddaughter, it's I have that. Goddaughter. 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 Good. I so have these, these are the different members that we have in our family. The different vocabulary about family members that uh, we know, right? Now, I have here my example, and you are going to create your example, right? I have here one person in my family. She is Carmen. She is my mother. My mother's name is Carmen. Carmen is Nati's mother. Nati is Carmen's daughter. I have here different ways to say the same thing, right? You say, she is Carmen. She is my mother. Ella es Carmen, es mi mamá. If I say, my mother's name is Carmen, what is the meaning of this sentence here? Nombre de mi madre. El nombre de mi madre, right? If I say, Carmen is Nati's mother. La mamá de Nati. Ah, you say, Carmen is la mamá de Nati. And say, Nati is Carmen's daughter. Nati is la hija de Carmen. Exactly like that. And for this one, as you can see, I have used these possessive forms, right? With the apostrophe S. You say, my mother's name. It's like the name of whom? El nombre de quien? De la mamá. Of my mother, right? You say, Carmen is Nati's mother. Okay. La mamá de quien? De Nati. De Nati, right? Mm -hmm. Say, Nati is Carmen's daughter. La hija de quien? De Carmen. De Carmen. <laughs> so, I need you to choose one person in your family. And I need you to create these four examples with the person in your family. For example, if you choose your father, you can say, he is Paquito, he is my father, right? My father's name is Paquito. Paquito is Nati's father. Nati is Paquito's daughter, right? And I have the example with my father. I need you to choose one member in your family and to create these uh, relationships. You can also use the name of your mother, but you are not going to use Carmen, right? A menos que sea una coincidencia que tu mamá también se llame Carmen. So you say, but you're not going to say she's Nati's mother and you are, I don't know, Juanita, right? So I need you to take your time, take your time, take your notebook, and I need you to create these four sentences about one member in your family. Go ahead. I am going to give you two minutes to do this. Go ahead. We have two minutes to finish these four sentences. Let's see, I am going to set the timer for the two minutes. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Take one example of one person in your house. We have two minutes. We have two minutes to finish. Well, now one twenty five. Cuando terminemos, levantemos la manita para ver si ya la tenemos. One minute. Very good, Evie. We have the first one.
Two hands up, very good. Ahí déjenme las más manitas. Three hands up, very good. Four hands up, very good. 20 seconds. More hands up. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Very good. Three, two, one. Damn. Okay. The time is over. We're going to start with. We're going to start with Evie. Go ahead. Okay. She's Fiorella. She's my daughter. My daughter's name is Fiorella. Fiorella is Evie's daughter. Evie is Fiorella's mother. Excellent job. Very nice job. Fantastic uh, work. Very nice. Vilma, it's your turn. Go ahead. Okay. She's Norma. She is my sister. My sister's name is Norma. Norma is Vilma's sister. Very nice Bilma job. Is uh -huh. Norma, Vilma is Norma sister. Norma's sister, Norma's excellent. Sister. Very nice. Norma's, right? Remember with the S pronunciation. Damaris, go ahead. She is Sophia. She is my daughter. My daughter name is Sophia. Sophia is Sarai's daughter. Very, Sarai huh? is Sophia's mother. Very good job. Very nice job, Damaris. Fantastic. Very good. Let's go with Maximo. She is Diana. Diana is my wife. My wife's name is Diana. Saida is Diana's mother. Diana is Saida's daughter. Very nice job, Mr. Maximo. You vary in, in the examples. That's very good. Fantastic. Nancy Maldonado. Very good job, Maximo. He is Marvin. He is my brother-in-law. My brother-in-law's name is Marvin. Marvin is Nancy's brother-in-law. Nancy is Marvin's sister-in-law. Very good job. Excellent example with a very difficult one. <laughs> the brother-in-law. Very good. Sonia, go ahead. She is Anna. She is my sister. My sister's name is Anna. Anna is Sonia's sister. Sonia is Anna's sister. Very nice job. Excellent job, Miss Sonia. Fantastic job. Mr. Arnoldo, go ahead. Um, she is Mayra. She is my mother. My mother's name is Mayra. Mayra is Arnold's mother. Arnold is Mayra's son. Very good job, Arnold. Fantastic example. Very good. Miss Cecilia, go ahead. Um, he is Marcelo. He is my son. Marcelo is Cecilia's son. Cecilia is Marcelo's mother. Very nice with Marcelo. Very good job, Ceci. He, he always loves to participate. Siempre le encanta participar ahí a, al chiquete, <laughs> al perrito. Let's see. Rosemary, go ahead. She is Amelia. She is my mother. My mother's name is Julia. Okay. Emily's mother. Julia is Emily's daughter. Very nice job, Rosemary, on the examples. Fantastic job. Let's go with Rosario. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. She is Ere. She is my mother. My mother's name is Tere. Tere is, Tere is Rosario's mother. Rosario is Tere's daughter. Daughter, 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 
Very good job. Rosario, very nice sentences. Sí, le hicimos chivo, no le costó, mire, me gusta. Con, con algo de grito, ah, pero ahí vamos. Sí. No, but that was very good. It's very, very good. You didn't doubt. That's very nice. Excellent, Rosario. Who is next? Thanks, teacher. Next. Everybody's going to participate. Así que nadie se esconda atrás del pupitre. Let's go with Carlos. Go ahead. He, <clears throat> he is Oscar. He is my father in law. In law, ajá. Uh -huh. My father in law name is Oscar. Very good. Oscar is Carlos father in law. Carlos is Oscar father in law. Very good. Very good job, Mr. Carlos. Ana Maritza, okay. go ahead. Good evening. Hi. Cheese. Uh, Cheese Araceli. Cheese, my sister. My sister, my name is Araceli. Araceli is Marixa's sister. Marixa is Araceli's sister. Okay. Can, can you repeat the third one? ¿Me puede repetir la segunda? O la segunda y la tercera. La segunda. Va. Segunda sería my sister. Uh, my sister is Araceli. Ajá. Uh -huh. Arace, Araceli is, is Marixa. Uh, Araceli is Marixa. Is sister. Marixa sister. Araceli is Maritza's sister. Very good job. Sister. Thank you very much. Maritza is... Uh -huh. bueno. No, continue, continue. Y luego al final, Maritza is Araceli's sister. Very good job. Now I'm clear. Very nice. Thank you, Maritza. Juan, go ahead. She is Blanca. She is my mother. My mother's name is Blanca. Blanca is Gloria's mother. Gloria is Blanca Daurel. Very good job. Excellent, Mr. Juan. Nancy Gutierrez, go ahead. He is Mateo. He is my son. Nancy is Mateo's mother. Nancy is Mateo's mother. Good. Mother. Excellent. Thank you. Emperatriz, go ahead. Okay. She is Maria. She is my mother. My, my mother name is Maria. Um, Maria is Emperatriz mother. Emperatriz is, is Maria's daughter. Very good job. And Elizabeth, go ahead. Pensé que me iba a <laughs> No. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> She is Mercedes. She is my mother. My mother's name is Mercedes. Mercedes. Mercedes is Elizabeth's mother. Very Elizabeth good. is uh -huh. Mercedes's daughter. 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 Very good. Daughter. daughter. Yes. Daughter. ¿Cómo se salva? Si aquí lo llevo a todos, anotado. A los que van participando. Qué barbaridad. Ahí voy anotando a todos los que participan y los que no. Good. So, very nice job. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. I think you were the last one in order to include. You see, you were using the possessives even when I didn't have to stop and explain you how to use a possessive. I gave you examples and you followed the example, right? Hoy no me detuve a decirles el posesivo se usa cuando va a explicar algo que le pertenece a alguien más. I gave you examples. I gave you examples and you follow examples, right? You follow the examples, you follow the idea and it was easy for you to create sentences because none of you had difficulties because in some cases, examples are more power, powerful than a lot of explanation, right? How do you make this ones, right? In these ones, you talk about the relationships, right? When you use this type of apostrophes and the possessives, you say, my mother's name is Carmen, that you know that the name of your mother is Carmen. 
Carmen is Nati's mother. You know, that is the mother of Nati. Nati is Carmen's daughter, that she is the daughter of Carmen, right? That is the form that you use with this type of possessions. I have here a little family tree. I have here a little family tree. And we are going to complement the family tree with the specific uh, relationship that it's missing. Here we have, for example, we have grandfather and what do you use with grandfather? What is the complement? Grandmother. Grandmother, right? You use grandmother. We have mother. What is the complement for mother? Father. Father. Father and mother, right? We have father and mother. We have aunt and uncle. And uncle, right? Aunt and uncle. Good. We have husband and wife. 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 Husband and wife. Brother and sister. 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 And here we have nephew and niece. Niece, right? Niece, niece and nephew. And now, based on these different categories, what is the relationship of Teresa? Cousin. Cousin, right? Because she comes from the aunt and the uncle. And mm. all the ones that come from your aunt and the uncle are your cousin, cousin. right? She's the cousin. If you make numbers, how many cousins do you have? Alrededor de cuántos primos o primas tienen ustedes? Bastante, hasta para dar en el, en el comercial. <laughs> yeah, Salvadorian families are very big. In the case yes. of my father, he has 10 siblings. Bueno, ya wow. My father has 10 siblings. Oh, and imagine all the ones, Hola. all the cousins that we have. Ay, qué lindo, bendiciones. Ay, está está bueno. It's the same. <laughs> my mom. She has a lot of siblings. Nine. Nine siblings. Oh yeah. my goodness. In Tell every me, uh -huh. in every aunt or uncle have three siblings or four. Oh my goodness. So yeah. it's a very big family. Yeah. If we have to make a relationship with the people that we have in the picture, Manuel and Donna, what is the relationship that we have? Exactly like in the sentences we had before. Si tuviéramos que hacer una oración como esta, con esta relación, ¿cómo lo haríamos? Manuel and Donna. How would you make it? Donna and Manuel are a couple. Uh -huh, they are a couple. But how, mm. imagine that I want to say, Manuel is... Mm. How, how would you make it? Vamos, the, todo, husband, the husband huh? on Donna, the husband on Donna, the Donna. Ocupemos esta estructura. Manuel is... Manuel is Donna's husband. Very good job. Estrellita para Mr. Juan. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, thank you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I have to look for it. Cha, 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 cha. Let me look for it. Very good. Ta -da. Ta -da. There you go. Estrellita for Mr. Juan. Manuel is Donna's husband. Right? Manuel is Donna's husband. What about Teresa? Teresa and Donna. What is the relationship that they have? Teresa and Donna. Teresa is uh -huh. Donna's daughter. Donna's daughter, very good, very good job, Mr. Maximo. I have one star for Mr. Maximo and one for Evie. Very good job, ching, 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 for all of you. Very nice. What about the relationship of Lisa and Jim? What is the relationship of Lisa and Jim? Lisa is Jim's wife no nope. yes look at them they are 
Y brother. Yeah. Sister. Ah, brother and Siblings. sister. Brother and sister. Uh -huh. mm. So, what would be the relationship? Lisa is. Lisa is brother. Jim's sister. sister. Jim's Lisa sister. is Jim's Jim sister. Sister, right? Lisa is Jim's sister. Very good job. The next one. What about uh, Sam and Sara? What is the relationship of Sam and Sara? Sam and Sara's son. Uh -huh. Sam, Sam is, is Sara's son. Sam is Sara's mother. Son. Uh -huh. son. How can you use it if you say mother? Sara is mother Sam. Mm -mm -mm. Sara is mother's mother in love. Sam mother. Sam's mother. Sam's mother. Sara is Sam's, Sam's mother. mother. Sara is Sam's, Sam's mother. mother. Very good job. A hard for everybody because you are trying. And <laughs> okay. <laughs> Que no estamos yendo, hombre. <laughs> what, about, what about Andy? What is the relationship of Andy, Andy and Manuel? What is the relationship of Andy and Manuel? Andy is Manuel's father. Father in law. No, no, no. Andy is grandfather. Grandfather. Andy is Manuel's grandfather. Grandfather. Okay. Well, in this case, yes, they are the grandfather. Okay. So this is a good way for you to challenge your brain, right? To do like the things, to make connections, to say like, hey, who is who here, right? Practice this because we are going to make a little example of this tomorrow with your family. Okay. So think about the members of your family. You're a small family, right? You are not going to... Uh, this is what you are going to do tomorrow. But think about your small family, the family that lives in your house, okay? So try to organize a little bit this idea because we are going to use it tomorrow. Well, my dear students, it was a big pleasure to serve you once again in this very interactive class. I like it. And yeah. have a beautiful night. Sleep a lot, and I'm going to see you tomorrow for your next. Okay. See, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.